Welcome to our video on job interviews. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a nervous first-timer, there's one thing you can always expect in an interview, the Q&A session. But did you know that the questions you ask could make or break your chances of getting the job? In fact, asking the wrong questions could cost you the opportunity altogether. On the other hand, Q&A session is also your time to shine and show the interviewer why you're the perfect fit for the position. By asking the right questions, you can even uncover valuable insights about the company that they don't publicly share. Stick around, because we're going to give you 12 questions that will help you stand out and get more job offers. Are you ready to nail your next interview? Let's dive in. Job interviews can be nerve-wracking experiences, but they're also your chance to gather important information about the position and the company. One question you should always ask is, why is this position currently open? Asking this question can provide you with vital information about the company and the position you're applying for. Firstly, it can give you an idea of whether the company is growing. If the position is new, it may indicate that the company is expanding and has more opportunities for growth in the future. Secondly, you may be able to find out if you're replacing someone great or disappointing. This can give you insight into what the company values in an employee and what kind of expectations they have for the position. Thirdly, asking why the position is open can tell you whether the company knows why they are hiring for this position. If they can't give you a clear answer, it may be a sign of disorganization or poor planning. Finally, it can provide you with valuable context about the company's current situation and their hiring needs. So, don't be afraid to ask this question at your next job interview. It could give you the information you need to make an informed decision about whether the position and the company are the right fit for you. What type of person becomes a top 1% employee here is not just a question, it's a powerful tool that can help you land your dream job. When you ask this question, you're not only finding out what exactly what makes a great employee in the company, but you're also setting yourself up for success. By understanding what the company sees as a top 1% employee, you can tailor your answers and showcase the skills and qualities that match their ideal candidate. But that's not all. Asking this question also shows the company that you're not just looking for any job, you're looking to become a top performer in their organization. This kind of ambition and drive is exactly what many employers are looking for, and it can make you stand out from other candidates. Finally, asking this question also allows you to reverse engineer your steps from there. Once you know what the company values in their top performers, you can start identifying the skills and experiences you have that match those values. This can help you better position yourself as the ideal candidate for the job. When going into an interview, it's easy to get caught up in the desire to present yourself as the ideal candidate for the position. But sometimes it's just as important to find out what kind of person wouldn't succeed in this particular company. By asking about the struggles people face, you'll gain insight into the company's culture and what kind of person might not be a good fit. Plus, understanding the challenges that people face can help you anticipate potential roadblocks and how to navigate them. Don't be afraid to ask this question, as it shows the interviewer that you're interested in the company's success as a whole, not just your own personal gain. In the end, it's about finding the right fit for both you and the company. One question that you should definitely ask is, what will make you 100% sure one year from now that you made the right hire? By asking this question, you're showing the hiring manager that you care about results. You're not just interested in getting the job, you're interested in excelling in it. Plus, the hiring manager's answer will give you a clear idea of what they're looking for in a top-performing employee. Think of it as a shortcut to success. The hiring manager will hand-feed you the traits and skills that they're looking for, and you can use this information to align yourself with their vision. So don't be afraid to ask this question. It shows that you're proactive, goal-oriented, and ready to make a difference. And it could be the difference between getting the job and excelling at it. Asking about a company's biggest win shows that you're not just interested in the position, but in the overall success of the company. This sets you apart from other candidates and shows that you have a genuine interest in the team's accomplishments. By asking this question, you can also gain insight into what the hiring manager values as a significant achievement. This information can be useful in understanding the company culture and the type of work that is prioritized. Moreover, by learning about the team's biggest win, 
you can tailor your responses to demonstrate how you can contribute to future successes. This can help you stand out during the interview process and show the hiring manager that you are invested in the company's goals. Asking about the metrics the hiring manager is responsible for can give you valuable insight into the company's priorities and objectives. It also shows that you are not just focused on your own goals but on the overall success of the company. By asking how you can help reach these metrics, you demonstrate your willingness to work collaboratively and contribute to the team's success. Additionally, by making an ally with the hiring manager, you can position yourself as a valuable asset to the company even before you are hired. Now, imagine if you could help the company achieve its metrics and exceed expectations. What impact could you make on the company and its customers? What doors could this open up for your career growth and development? Asking about a team's feedback framework demonstrates a genuine desire for improvement and growth. This will make you stand out as a candidate and show that you are willing to learn and adapt. Additionally, this question provides insight into the team's communication and management style, which can help you determine if you would be a good fit within the team. It also allows you to understand how feedback is given and received, which can help you navigate communication within the team if you are hired. All in all, this question not only highlights your interest in improving your own skills but also shows your commitment to contributing to the team's success. Asking about the percentage of team members who have been promoted at the company is a powerful question that can provide you with insights about the organization's growth opportunities and its culture. By understanding the promotional policies of the company, you can assess whether you want to work for an organization that invests in the career development of its employees. It also helps you gauge the company's overall health and success, as well as the potential for your own professional growth. Additionally, asking this question demonstrates that you are proactive and focused on your career advancement, which is highly valued by hiring managers. Also, you can ask follow-up questions to gain more insights, such as the criteria used for promotions, the frequency of promotions, and the average time it takes for an employee to get promoted. These additional questions can provide more context and help you better evaluate the company's culture and career growth opportunities. Asking about the future direction of the company is a strategic move. It shows you're interested in the long-term growth of the company and how you can contribute to it. When you ask this question, you also gain insight into the hiring manager's vision for the company. You can align your own career goals with this vision, highlighting how you can help the company achieve its goals. Plus, it gives you the opportunity to showcase your problem-solving and adaptability skills, as you'll need to be able to navigate changes as they come. So, take the opportunity to flip the script and learn what exciting changes the company has in store for the future. Did you know that according to a study by LinkedIn, the top skill that employers are looking for in 2022 is creativity? Asking about the most important skill for the role can provide valuable information to job seekers. By asking this question, you can find out which specific skill the hiring manager is looking for and tailor your responses accordingly. Additionally, this question shows that you are interested in understanding the key requirements of the role and are willing to focus on those skills that are most important to the manager. So, what one skill would you need to focus on if given the chance to discuss only one? Asking about the number one challenge you'll face in the role is a smart move for several reasons. Firstly, it shows that you are a proactive thinker and you want to be prepared for any potential obstacles. Secondly, it gives you a realistic picture of what you'll be up against, which is crucial for making a sound decision about the job. By learning about the challenges of the role, you can also assess whether they are something you are willing and able to handle. If the challenge aligns with your strengths and interests, it could be an opportunity for you to shine and make a significant impact. On the other hand, if it is a skill or situation that you are uncomfortable with, you can weigh the advantages and disadvantages before accepting the job offer. Another advantage of asking this question is that it shows the hiring manager that you are not afraid to face obstacles head-on. It can also open up a dialogue about potential solutions and ways to mitigate the challenge. By doing this, you can establish yourself as a problem solver and a valuable asset to the team. One disadvantage of asking this question is that the hiring manager may perceive it as a lack of confidence or a negative attitude. To avoid this, 
Frame your question in a positive way and express enthusiasm for the role despite the challenges. Generally, asking about the number one challenge you'll face in the role is a smart move that can give you a realistic picture of the job and help you prepare for success. A surprising fact about this question is that according to a survey by Glassdoor, 45% of job seekers said they would be willing to take a pay cut for a job that is meaningful to them, even if it came with challenges. When you ask a hiring manager if there's anything that would make them hesitant in hiring you, it shows that you're not afraid of constructive feedback and are open to making improvements. This can help you identify potential weaknesses or misconceptions the hiring manager may have about your qualifications and experience. By addressing their concerns head-on, you can provide evidence and data that may help alleviate their hesitations. However, it's important to approach this question with a level of confidence and avoid becoming defensive or argumentative. Instead, take the opportunity to showcase your problem-solving skills and willingness to work collaboratively to address any concerns. On the whole, asking this question can help you gain valuable insights into how the hiring manager perceives your fit for the role and provide an opportunity to demonstrate your abilities and expertise. Asking about work-life balance during an interview is an important question that can help you understand the company culture and their values towards employees' well-being. Here are some points to elaborate on the value of this question. Firstly, by asking this question, you're showing that you care about your overall well-being, including your work-life balance. Secondly, it can help you align with companies that share similar values. Thirdly, the response to this question can give you insight into the company's culture and what they prioritize. Fourthly, if the company values work-life balance, they may offer flexible schedules, work-from-home options, or have policies that encourage taking time off. Similarly, by asking about work-life balance can help you understand the expectations of the role and the workload. Finally, you can gain a better understanding of how much overtime or weekend work may be required and how often. While it's great to work for a company that values work-life balance, it's also important to understand the potential trade-offs. For example, a company that values work-life balance may have a lower salary or fewer growth opportunities than a company that does not prioritize it. Generally speaking, asking about work-life balance during an interview can help you determine if the company culture aligns with your values and if the role's expectations are something you're comfortable with. It can also demonstrate to the hiring manager that you're interested in a healthy work-life balance, which can be an attractive quality to potential employers. In conclusion, asking thoughtful and strategic questions during a job interview is a powerful way to demonstrate your interest in the company and the role, and to learn valuable insights that can help you succeed in the position. By asking the right questions, you can showcase your skills and experience, align with the hiring manager's goals, and gain valuable information to help you make an informed decision about whether the job is the right fit for you. Remember, the interview is a two-way street, and asking insightful questions can help you stand out from other candidates and leave a lasting impression. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below with your own tips for acing a job interview. Thank you for watching.